To the entire world, be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Before we begin to pray together, I just want to let you know that God is here for you. God loves you and God has people here on this earth that are children of the light and they pray for you and you never will meet these individuals and that is okay because God loves you and I am one of those individuals that you may never meet in person but just know we are connected. You are my brother. You are my sister. You are my mother. If you do the will of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, by way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, you are God's seed. You are the greatness of God. Let us say a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, our personal Lord and Savior, individually and collectively, God, by the way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. We recognize you here and now, God. We take advantage, Father, of everything that you have given us, Father. We do not shirk away from the daily task that you have put before us, Father. Father, we step forth, Father, with our chin high father our chest out father because we know we are girded father we are girded in your spiritual armor father that is unseen with the human eye father but father we know that you have our laces tied up tight father so that we do not stumble father that we do not fall father father we ask that you keep us protected father and we thank you father for the helmet father of your salvation, which is a crown of wisdom and knowledge that we wear and display on a daily basis, God. Lord, let us be fruitful and multiply on this day, Father, and let us understand that we are one race, God's race, the human race, Father, united as one, God, in the palm of your hand, Father. Let us continue, Father, to be strong and diligent, Father, in our everyday tasks that we take care of, God. Let us have grace, Father. When we speak to other individuals, Father, let us speak, Father, with respect, Father. Let us understand what the individuals are saying, Father, and let us also realize as your children, Father, that we all have fallen short of your glory, Father. Let us be able to teach other individuals how to draw closer to you, God, Father, not away from you, Father. Let us not be so self-righteous and self-centered, Father, but let us learn, Father, that we all breathe the same air, Father. Father, we do not have to ask our hearts to beat. We do not have to say inhale and exhale, Father, for us to receive this air of you, God. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you for that commonality, Father, which is all supernatural, God. For these and many of the blessings, we will continuously pray in the word and the blood of your darling son, Jesus Christ the Nazareth, by way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. I pray this prayer as an intercession. I pray this prayer, Father, for spiritual manifestation, I pray this prayer, Father, in acknowledgement of who you are, God. I pray this prayer, Father, for the entire world, God. I don't pray this prayer, Father, for anyone in particular, God. I pray this prayer for the entire world, Father. And I thank you for the things that you have given me, Lord. And I ask that you continue to bless us, Father. For these and many other blessings, we will continuously pray in the word and blood of your darling son, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. By way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father, we recognize you here and now. Amen, amen, and amen. God is good all the time. Now, if you are seeking out God, and it is okay if you are a child of the light, let God know that you have taken Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You can renew your relationship with God on a daily basis. Remember, Jesus said that we should renew our mind on a daily basis. So remember, you have to plan strategically for your life or life will strategically plan for you. And don't let life strategically plan for you. 
Don't idle against God. Go with God because God is taking you somewhere. Yes, the journey might be bumpy and sometimes the journey is smooth. But either way, no, you are in the palm of God's hand. No one else can hold you. Nobody can. But God, accept that fact. And if you have already accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, are you being fruitful and multiplying and letting other individuals know how they can connect with God? how they can connect with Jesus, how they can connect with that Holy Spirit. It is so important that we go about and spread that word all across this entire globe because we are one race, God's race, the human race. Never forget it. Always have grace in your heart. Always be kind. Always have the way of a Samaritan because that is the way to be. Keep in mind, those who have a heart of John and those who believe that they are children of the light, God shall see them and they shall go about and do greater works than what Jesus Christ the Nazarene has done. Yes, I'll talk about that in my next video. Do you believe, do you have enough faith to climb the mountain Jesus could not climb. Amen, amen, and amen. Be blessed and stay phenomenal and know God is good and God is with you all the time. I'll see you on the next side.